video cut off, so here I am again. Ugh. I am bored. I ejaculated probably an hour ago. My head is all crazy and fuzzy from the damn thing. I'm drinking this shit right here. 24 years old now. I'm still. Well, I'm. I, I, I've touched the breast. I, I. I. You know, out of all the things that I've been through in my life, I think that nullified everything. You know, all the bullying, all the hatred, all the condemn, all the, all the schoolwork. Believe me, I've gone through. I jumped through some friggin' hurdles to get out of high school. They, they had me. I really, really, I, I put every little last ounce of mental strength into getting out of high school. But all of that goes away once a girl. I was, I had my first, you know, experience with a girlfriend. My first ever girlfriend named Sabrina Fratto. She's a Hispanic girl. She's a freak. She was doing some sort of like, this is what she was like. Oh. She was doing that to me. I was just like, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Uh, uh -uh. I did not know what to do with her, man. I've never had to like actually deal with a female, you know, so it never, I didn't know what to do. And I was just kind of blown away, overwhelmed. Because I, I didn't want to, you know, impregnate her or anything. She was just, she, she's hot. She's standing there. She's got nice little boobies. And she's the kind of girl you want to get with when you go into them friggin' high school classes. But you can't because, the, you know, this is who I am. Ooh, that's who I am. I'm the guy who's just... You know, they're not, not going to get with no beautiful, gorgeous girlfriend. You know what I mean? So, that threw me the hell off. But, yeah, she was after my money. That's the thing that, that tripped me up. I would have, I would have, if, if this was five years ago, I would have hit that ass. Big, beautiful, plump ass. Because the military wanted me. Let me tell you that. They wanted me. They need me. They need somebody to sit there all day and handle the paperwork that they got or something. So, if they could have gotten me to work for them, that would have been aces. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't want to get married to nobody around there. That's all. Staff Sergeant Franklin. Sup, nigga? your wife <laughs> he's probably fucking right now love that give her one for me <laughs> I wish I could contact these guys again Staff Sergeant Tiana Whaley I remember you, cute little face of yours. Ugh. I mean, I could talk to those. I mean, there's an entire forum dedicated to the Air Force. I could probably sign up. I didn't really get discharged, discharged, as much as they decided that, you know, since I can't really engage. The thing about it is, you go there, you train. And then they tell you, they will tell you straight to your face. The only time you're going to get to screw a chick is when you're in tech school. You know? So, they make it pretty clear that if you want to fuck, you're going to have to, you know, be willing to do whatever the hell they tell you to do. And I didn't, I didn't take the bait. I should have. Maybe, no, I shouldn't. I don't know. It, it's not. It doesn't. It, it doesn't 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not just gonna friggin' screw anything that moves, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, gotta actually know the person and all that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe some people think otherwise. Yeah. It's kind of just blowing my mind right now what to do after such a experience. You know, it really, it really was jarring. What was I saying last time before the video cut out? I drew a comic, you know, in the style of a hentai. Hentai is an anime form. It's just basically pornography. And I learned about it in 2002, I believe. Right around the time Attack of the Clones came out. I read a manga a hentai manga called Slut Girl. And the beautiful thing about it was that it, it didn't, most hentai is just a girl, you know, getting raped by some kind of octopus. And that's it. There's no story. There's no humor. There's no drama. There's nothing. Slut Girl actually has a good story. Interesting character. The thing about the girl in the story is that she's a sex addict. That's, and she doesn't, you know, she doesn't want to be that way. But she, 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 she's just, you know, she, she has to get fucked. And so throughout the series, it's about this, this poor schmuck having to deal with this crazy bitch. who <laughs> who is only using him for sex and she's got all sorts of like issues out in the world and you know, I really thought wow it can be done you can create a hentai that's full of porn but at the same time humorous and enjoyable and stuff so I did my own thing man since I had the power and I did it man I made it pretty darn good series of porn, porn, porn. It was a great story, you know. This is the kind of story that I could have probably sold to a publisher, you know. Damn it. It's like, there's a ton of Dragon Ball Z hentai out there, but nothing that actually could legitimately follow the original storyline. Mine included a character who was a clone of, of the original Z characters, and she has the power, she has all the same powers and things like that, and she has Saiyan bloodline, and all sorts of sexy shit goes on in it, and, you know, eventually I had, um, eventually, it, it all, it all kind of like, had, had had a lot of like Godfather saga drama going on where the, the girl became uh, became a mother of another character and then another character went on to become the, you know, the catalyst for a new character who would bring about the doom of the planet and the only way to stop her was to have Battle Royale at the end. So it became more than porn, porn, porn. The only reason there were tits and ass in it was because what would happen if, if a sexy girl were to fight? She'd just get, you know, her, her clothes ripped off. And that's basically the reason there's porn in it. I didn't try to, I didn't go out of my way to have a bunch of sex going on. But, I mean, if I was the one fighting a, a chick, I, I wouldn't just beat her up. I'd, 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 I'd like, you know, I'd pull a shirt off first and then probably punch her in the stomach. That's, that's the way I'd roll. Because you, you just, you just, it just doesn't make any sense to me to have a beautiful body right there and then just pummel it. No, you've got to touch and squeeze, squeeze, and then... And then maybe smack, smack it, smack it, you know, that kind of thing. Um, 